You know, the second you hit that power button on your computer, long before you ever see your login screen, there's this incredible secret mission that kicks off. It's a super high-speed exploration to find and map out every single thing plugged into your motherboard. We're talking your graphics card, your SSD, everything. So have you ever really thought about that? How does your PC go from just being a box full of separate, quiet components into a system that actually works together, you know, as a team? Well, the magic behind all of that is a process called enumeration. At its core, PCIe enumeration is basically the system's first ever conversation with all of its parts. Your system software, like the BIOS, goes on this methodical hunt through the entire PCIe network. It's asking each component, hey, who are you? Giving it a unique address and handing out the resources it needs to do its job, like memory or a way to get the CPU's attention. Once that complete map is built, it's handed over to your operating system. To really get this, we're going to go on a little explorer's journey. First, we'll figure out what our mission is. Then we'll look at the map we'll be using. That's the BDF address system. We'll cover the rules of our exploration, watch a journey play out, see how we handle some unexpected new arrivals. And finally, we'll understand why this whole expedition is so incredibly important. Okay, so let's set the stage. What does a computer really look like the very instant you give it power? I want you to imagine your motherboard as like a newly discovered continent. You can see there are roads and buildings, but you, the explorer, have no map whatsoever. You know things are out there, but you have no idea if that structure over there is a powerful graphics card or a simple network controller. You don't know its address. You don't even know what language it speaks. That's your PC at power on. Enumeration is the process of drawing that map. Think of it like a system-wide census. The explorer goes to every single location and asks, who are you? What's your job here? And what do you need from me to do it? By the time it's done, it has this perfectly detailed inventory of every single device in the system. Now, you can't be an explorer mapping a new land without some kind of coordinate system, right? For PCIe, that system is called BDF, and it is absolutely essential because it's how every single component gets its own unique address. The BDF system which stands for bus, device, and function, is actually kind of beautiful in its simplicity. Just think of it like a regular street address. The bus number, that's the main highway you're driving on. The device number is the specific exit you take off that highway. And the function number, well, that's the actual building you're trying to find at that exit. Bus, device, and function together create a one-of-a-kind address for every single logical thing in your PC. Now, this function part, this is super important. A single physical card that you plug into a slot can actually pretend to be multiple things at the same time. A fancy graphics card is one device. That's one exit off the highway but it might have several different functions or buildings. You'll have the main video controller, of course, but you'll probably also have an HDMI audio controller on there too. Each of those gets its own function number, which means each gets its very own BDF address. Okay, so we have our mission and we have our mapping system, but how does the Explorer actually do the search? It can't just wander around hoping for the best. It needs a strategy, a strict set of rules to make sure it checks every single path and doesn't miss a thing. The strategy it uses is a classic computer science algorithm called a depth first search. Our explorer starts at base camp, which in the PCIe world is the root complex. That's the main hub inside your CPU that connects everything. This first big highway is always called bus zero. The explorer starts scanning this highway. If it finds a simple device, great, it maps it. But if it finds a bridge or a switch, 
basically a gateway to more roads. It pauses, crosses over that bridge, and explores everything on the other side first before it ever comes back. And really, our explorer only asks two types of questions. We call them configuration requests. A type zero request is basically yelling down the current highway, who are you? It's sent to a potential device on the same bus the explorer is on right now. A type one request is different. You send that to a bridge and it's like saying, hey, can you pass this question along to the bus on your other side for me? This is how the explorer's questions can travel across the entire system. All right, theory is great, but let's actually see this whole process unfold. We're gonna trace the explorer's steps one by one through a simple little PCIe system. Okay, check this out. This is our uncharted territory. We've got our host bridge, the root complex, which is our starting point on bus zero. Plugged into that is a switch, we'll just call it junction A. And then hanging off of that switch, we've got a graphics card and an SSD controller. This is the before picture. Nothing has an address. Nothing has been discovered. It's a total mystery. And the journey begins. The enumeration software kicks things off by scanning bus zero. It starts sending out those type zero requests, the who are you question, to every possible slot on this bus. After a few tries, it gets a response. It's found Junction A, and it learns that it's a PCI switch, a bridge to other places. Now, this is where it gets really clever. The Explorer doesn't just find the switch. It actively programs it. It gives the switch a BDF address. Let's say bus zero, device one, function zero. Then it tells the switch, okay, from now on, the highway connected to your first port is called bus one, and the highway on your second port is bus two. The explorer is literally drawing the map as it goes along. And this right here, this is the depth first part of the search in action. The explorer immediately pauses its scan of bus zero. It doesn't bother looking for anything else there just yet. Instead, it dives deeper down that first path of junction A. It starts scanning the brand new bus one, and to do that, it sends those type one requests through the switch, telling it to pass the scan along, and that's how it discovers the graphics card. The graphics card is what we call an endpoint. It's a final destination. It's not another bridge leading somewhere else. So the Explorer gives it a unique address on this new bus, something like bus one, device zero, function zero. It then reads all the card's info to figure out what it is and what it needs. And with that, this path is now fully mapped. Since the bus one path is complete, the Explorer backtracks. It goes back to junction A because it remembers, hey, there was another path I haven't checked yet, bus two. So it dives down that path, finds and configures the SSD controller, and marks that path complete too. Only now, after every single pathway branching off from junction A is fully explored, does the software finally go back to bus zero to finish the scan it started. It's this methodical process that guarantees nothing gets missed. So that's what happens when you turn your computer on. But what about devices you can add while the system is already running? I mean, think about a Thunderbolt drive. You can't just reboot your computer every time you plug one in. Well, hot plugging is way, way more efficient. When you plug in a new device, the hardware in that port sends out an interrupt which is just a fancy way of saying it sends a, hey, pay attention to me, signal directly to the operating system. The OS then wakes up and runs a tiny targeted enumeration process just for that one specific bus. It discovers the new device, configures it, adds it to the system map all on the fly without messing with anything else. We've definitely gone deep into the weeds with BFS and depth first searches and all that, but let's zoom out for a second. Why is this super complex split-second dance so fundamentally important? When you get right down to it, enumeration is the absolute unsung hero of modern computing. 
It is the reason you can buy a graphics card from one company, a network card from another, and a motherboard from a third, and they all just work together. This silent, lightning-fast negotiation is the bedrock of the plug-and-play world we totally take for granted. Without it, your computer would just be a box of silent, very expensive, and completely useless parts. So just think, every time you start your computer, you're kicking off a successful expedition into your PC's hardware, and it's all done in the blink of an eye. It kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? What other invisible secret protocols are working hard right now, forming the very foundation of our digital world? Thank you.